We've all experienced some form of heartbreak before, but you probably didn't know that it may have left you with real physical scars. According to new research, heartbreak isn't just emotional, it's an actual medical condition that can make you more prone to developing other heart-related conditions in the future. Joining me to explain this is member of the Peter Monk Cardiac Center, Sherry Grace. Sherry, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So, um, have the musicians and the poets been right all along that there is such a thing as heartbreak? Yes, they have, absolutely. It turns out we can now see actual damage and how the heart pumps and how it moves when it pumps uh, following a breakup or uh, relationship conflict, for example. So it, are we talking about stress? Is, it, is, is, it, is there a stress on the heart? Yeah, so what happens is there's a, the heart muscle is weakened temporarily, and um, so you get a bit of ballooning in that major left ventricle that's the main pumping chamber of the heart. Um, and about 75% of the time, there's an emotional stress or a physical stress that precedes the, the event, so loss of a loved one or even other stresses as well. So we're not saying that every time someone goes through sadness, they, they're actually damaging their heart. No, that's absolutely right. So um, people who have broken heart syndrome will have the classic chest pain and they'll head to the hospital thinking they're having a heart attack. And the doctors will notice that there aren't blockages in their arteries that serve their heart muscle with oxygenated blood as you would normally see. And so then they'll suspect broken heart syndrome. It's only about one or two percent of the time that a suspected heart attack turns out to be broken heart syndrome. Do we know what types of people are more likely to suffer from this syndrome? Yes, we do. So it's about 90% of the time it happens in women, about around the age of 65. It's more uh, uh, often in people of Asian background or Caucasian background. Also people who have had a history of a mental health problem such as anxiety or even a mental, uh, sorry, a neurological condition such as seizures or headache. What did you think? Uh, as someone sort of who lives in this world, what did you think the first time you heard that 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 that, that sadness, major uh, uh, emotional trauma, can lead to real physical scars on the heart? Sure. So I think it's been known for a little while now that emotional factors are implicated in traditional uh, heart disease. So social isolation, anxiety, stress is really related to development of traditional heart disease. With this syndrome, it was thought that it was very temporary and only for a few weeks was the heart pumping function compromised. But now they see it last for months later, uh, which is very, very disturbing. Are there any uh, precautions that people can take if they know that they're susceptible to something like that? Sure, so unfortunately, we just recognized this uh, maybe 25 years ago, so still a lot of theories. We don't know any cures. We don't know how to prevent it. Uh, so all I would suggest is um, we want to, you know, use our means to, to prevent traditional forms of heart disease, so avoiding tobacco, uh, exercising, uh, eating well, and minding our mental health. And, and to be sure, so, so there, if people who have this are more prone or are more susceptible to other heart-related issues? Yeah, so I think that's how it came about, so that we noticed that people who have broken heart syndrome often didn't return to work, they couldn't tolerate exercise. About one in five will go on to have heart failure or even die. And so that's why we started looking into what the long-term consequences are. And is there any way to repair the damage to the heart once it's been affected? Yeah, so we don't know yet. It's a very uh, major area of research. Um, your doctor might give you an anti-anxiety pill or maybe a pill to called a beta blocker to slow down the force of the contraction of your heart and let your heart muscle repair itself. But unfortunately, we don't have a treatment at this time. So Sherry, you are saying that there is no cure for the broken heart. <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Well, thank you very much for your insight today. We appreciate it. Thank you. For